So a question I often get is, uh, should I do my, my strength training before my tie boxing or the cardio conditioning sessions or afterwards? Which way is the better way around? And the honest answer to that is, it depends. But to give you some kind of proper answer, whichever session is the most important that day, or for that block of training, whatever the purpose is, then that one should go first, because that will be less hindered. So if your Thai boxing skill training is the most important one that day, then that should go first, and then trying to fit your strength and conditioning afterwards is the way to do it. If, however, the foundation um, athletic qualities is your priority and you've got other sessions where the skills can be made up which is often the case then the strength and conditioning session should go first and then you'll be a little bit more fatigued for the uh, for the, the Muay Thai session for example if the Muay Thai session is learning a new skill so you're trying to anchor a new engram a new movement pattern then don't do the strength and conditioning first that that Muay Thai session should be the emphasis, that should come first. But if it's more of a just a conditioning session and you're using well rehearsed techniques, then the strength session can go beforehand, no problem. Um, you just know you're gonna be a bit dull and a bit more fatigued going into it, which is not necessarily a bad thing if you, you're then looking to test that, your, test your Muay Thai specific technique under fatigue. So to develop strength and power, you need to be well rested before you do it. So if you're particularly fatigued before you do it, then you're not gonna be getting the most out of that, that development. And in my experience, most fighters are lacking strength and power development in the first place. So they rely on that movement efficiency of the skill to feel like their strength and power is at a good level, when actually the foundation qualities aren't really there. So most of the time, I would prioritize the strength and power session in a well rested, unfatigued state, and then work the rest of everything else on top of that. So try and arrange your training week around that. Try and make sure that your, your strength, your power and your speed sessions, like the plyometrics and things like that, are all done in a really well rested state, away from anything else as much as possible, and then slot everything else in as much as you can around that. Of course, a lot of your Muay Thai sessions are group training sessions, so they happen where they happen in the week. So it's really difficult to shift those. That's where your training partners, where the group sessions are, it's when the coaches are available. Whereas the strength and conditioning sessions are much more personalized generally. You're more fitting those in when you can, in your own time. So you've got more flexibility on where they can go. So ideally, I'd like to see strength and conditioning sessions in the morning and then any other training you've got, whether it's cardio conditioning or Muay Thai training, later on in the day, in the afternoon or the evening. That kind of separation works really well and you actually get a good training benefit from both those sessions then. If you need to stack one after the other, then uh, less desirable, um, but doing something's better than nothing.